Cremations could outpace traditional burials by next year, and as cremation increases, people are looking for greener options. A machine manufactured here in Indiana liquefies body tissue rather than burning it. But in the majority of states, including Indiana, the process is illegal. Sarah Fenton reports on the controversy and efforts at the State House to legalize chemical cremation. Visitors come from all over the world to see Joe Wilson's factory in Danville, Indiana. In this solar-powered facility, workers spend months building a single machine that's used for a process called alkaline hydrolysis. It's known popularly by a lot of different names, including chemical cremation. The word chemical gives people the wrong impression of it. Wilson takes issue with the term. For one thing, he says because there's no flame involved, alkaline hydrolysis shouldn't be called cremation, and the chemicals used in the process are natural. The chemicals used in here are actually alkali and they're derived from natural elements of salt, salt water, and so it's, a, it's really a, a catalyst and it's the same thing that's used in decomposition. Here's how it works. Instead of a traditional cremation, which incinerates a body with a furnace, alkaline hydrolysis uses water and chemicals to dissolve human remains inside a large drum. The water mixture is then heated to about 350 degrees for about four hours. At the end of the process, all that's left are bones and a sterile, thick mixture that is safe to be washed on the drain. As in traditional cremation, the bones are then ground down and returned to the person's family as ashes. The machines Wilson uses for the process are manufactured here in Indiana, and while he can sell the equipment, facilities here can't use it. Alkaline hydrolysis is illegal in 39 states, including Indiana. A new bill before the state legislature would legalize alkaline hydrolysis and require the State Board of Funeral and Cemetery Service to adopt rules that would regulate the process. The Indiana Funeral Directors Association hasn't taken a stance on alkaline hydrolysis. Director Curtis Rostad says the association's main concern is that the process is regulated. It's just a matter of knowing who's doing this, how it's being done, where it's being done. So we do have to change our laws to accommodate it. Rostad says some people oppose the process on religious grounds. He says if a religion doesn't support cremation, it wouldn't support alkaline hydrolysis. He also notes the concept of dissolving a loved one's body with chemicals just might not sit well with some people. To some people, let's use the word, it's yucky. And uh, they have to get used to that idea. But proponents of the new process say there isn't much of a difference between that icky process and traditional cremation methods. It's the difference between exposing the body to a flame or exposing them to hot water. And so in both, both cases, you're going to consume the body down to a skeleton. Butler says alkaline hydrolysis fits into a growing national trend. More people than ever are choosing alternative burials. The value that people are putting on the funeral service and actually having the body present is not as, not as important to the newer generation. The National Funeral Directors Association estimates 47% of consumers chose cremation in 2014. That's compared with just 10% in 1980. The NFDA predicts this year will be the first in which cremation surpasses traditional burials. Butler's organization is backing the process because he says it's better for the environment. Alkaline hydrolysis uses less energy and releases fewer chemical emissions than traditional cremation. Back in Danville, Joe Wilson walks through his factory. Anticipating a big growth in business, he spent more than a million dollars in 2013 to expand the space. Wilson says it's time Indiana's legislatures approve the process. It's very, very important that our state that I grew up in and where we built our plant allows this like the 11 other states that already do. This isn't the first time a bill has been introduced that would legalize alkaline hydrolysis, but in the past it's failed to gain any traction. If legislators approve the bill this session, it could still be cost prohibitive. The technology is a lot more expensive than what's used in traditional cremation.